Today I want to talk about the imperative that we have to use marketing communications today to eliminate fear and anxiety among consumers. Now, throughout the pandemic, we've had to deal with fear and anxiety among our employees at hospitals and health systems and among the public. And, and frankly, we've done a great job of communicating to the public, hospitals have done this better than anyone, of saying, stay home. You know, let us do the work, you stay home. We want to keep you safe. Well, what's happened is, I think people have taken that too literally. There are times you still need to come to the hospital. And in the future, we're gonna want people to come back to our facilities. So how do we do that? What's the process we go through? I'll, I'll share with you, national data shows that just in the last month, consumers' fear and anxiety about, about visiting a hospital or health system has increased. It's gone from somewhere in the 50% range to nearly 72%. So that's pretty dramatic. So it's our job through the marketing we produce, through the communications we share, whether that's on Facebook, email, or whatever, that we help educate and inform them so that they're comfortable when the time comes and when they need our services. Another thing that I've seen in the, in the national research that, that's actually encouraging is consumers want information from us. They want to hear about COVID-19. They want to learn from us and they expect us to communicate with them. And their preferred method of communication, interestingly, is email. So they welcome getting week weekly emails from their community hospital or medical center, informing them, updating them on what's going on with the crisis, what the hospital is doing to prepare for the new normal. And that's really where we need to be with our communications right now. We need to be painting the picture for the consumer of what that new normal will look like. How are we gonna transition from COVID-19 crisis life to this new era where we do bring patients back to our facilities? What are the steps we're taking? You know, what are we doing in terms of social distancing within our facilities so patients will feel safe and their family members will feel safe? Will we allow family members to come with patients in the future? Uh, we need to talk about outpatient facilities where we haven't been treating COVID-19 patients. And we need to share images. I think video is perfect for this. That familiarize them with our processes within the hospital. How are we keeping the non-COVID-19 patients safe and keeping them separate from the COVID-19 patients? You know, there, there is this perception that hospitals are dangerous places and COVID-19 is everywhere. And that's just not the case. But we need to bring the patients along. We need to share good quality information with our communities. So I, I want to strongly encourage you to use your content, use your communications and your messaging to start sharing with consumers that vision of what the new normal is and how you're going to transition as an organization to that new normal. What's the process you're going to take to keep your employees safe in the future, to keep your patients safe? How are you going to reopen your hospital to patients who have kind of everyday needs? They need to know this from us. You know, if we don't do it, no one's gonna do it. And if we don't put their fear aside, we're gonna have real trouble attracting patients to come in for those revenue generating procedures that we depend on.